Thank you for joining us and uh, apologies for the late start. Uh, a little background on uh, India, on India's best civil star As you're aware, uh, uh, Z has been at the forefront of, uh, of finding, discovering and honing and presenting new talent uh, for the last two decades uh, to the Indian entertainment industry. Uh, we've had success with Saregama, we've had success with DID, uh, we have seen a few seasons of uh, Sinistraski Koja and now we are back after an eight year gap uh, with uh, an acting talent show. We are very excited about doing this because uh, it allows us uh, to uh, develop and deliver acting talent at a time when uh, Bollywood is ready to accept newer faces, unconventional faces, different types of talent and produce uh, new phenomenal scripts with them and uh, which is why we are excited about doing this show. Uh, we have uh, some very interesting guests this evening with us who are a part of uh, India's Best Nestaski Coach and I'm very uh, pleased to welcome uh, our first guest for the evening, uh, a very dear friend and a very, very talented and successful uh, director. He has written uh, lots of very interesting scripts for uh, big names like Maniratnam, Sipi Films, etc. Uh, he himself uh, uh, has written uh, scripts for his own directorial ventures and then last year he delivered one of the biggest hits of Indian cinema of all time, making his debut on national television as a, as a judge to help us find India's best cinema star. Uh, please welcome on stage uh, Mr. Vijay Krishna Acharya, the director of Dhoom 3, Akka Vinta. Vinta give me So to help us find uh, the right type of talent, we decided to take some help from uh, our Bollywood buddies. Uh, we spoke to two very young stars who don't come from film families, who you know, who have made their own mark in Bollywood, and who have proven that you don't need to you know be born in Bollywood to belong to Bollywood. You just need to have the right amount of patience, perseverance, aspiration and talent. Uh, joining us next uh, is a very beautiful and talented actress who is part of the show uh, at the very top. And uh, I hope that we will continue our association with her through the season in some form or the other. Please welcome the very talented uh, Parniti Chopra. Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, so, thank you so much for having me. Can I say something now or should I just be you silent? Can say something now minutes? like you always like saying the things. So you can say something now and then later as well. <laughs> I think I'll just say it. I just want to first of all uh, thank Z. Uh, uh, they're calling me a judge, but I don't think of uh, myself like that. Uh, I'm just going to come uh, for two episodes on this show as a Not friend to all the contestants. Bollywood buddy, that's how I Not introduced you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try and be nice. Um, I was in their place two years ago when I was when I auditioned uh, for my film, and uh, I managed to do three, four films after that. I hope that somebody or at least a few. Uh, from all these contestants, all get films and do very well in their life. I'm just going to try and be the nice one because we've told Victor sir to be the bad one. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have fun. So we have a little more, more of Parathi a little later in the evening. Uh, and finally, uh, a very young and talented actor who has uh, done the entire journey from, you know, uh, being an RJ to a host to a film star, uh, a very popular, young and successful actor. He uh, 
again, he joins us for uh, at the beginning of the audition journey of Sinistarsky coach to help us and help the talent find their feet in the show. Uh, please welcome Aishman Kurana. I know it's I think I know you I know. Say something? Yeah, it was the spring of 2003 when I auditioned for the Sinistarsky coach season one. And I was rejected. I was rejected in the middle round. You wish so not here. I'm a reject from yeah. the show, so it's quite surreal that I'm on the panel as a friend, as a Bollywood buddy this time. And uh, in 2003, I remember I was this nerdy looking guy with specs, thin, not six feet tall, conventional hero. And the rest of the guys, top 10 in Chandigarh, was six feet plus. It was the average height of Chandigarh men, uh, four inches, at least four inches more than normal blokes across the country. So that was done 10 years back, but now the times have changed. I think this is the golden era of Indian cinema. We have gone beyond nepotism. And this is the time anybody with a decent amount of talent can be there, be an actor, doors are open. And I think I've said this umpteen times that this is the golden era of Indian cinema. Anybody can be an actor. And uh, I think success is when preparation meets opportunity. And there's no dearth of preparation made by young, talented actors across the length and breadth of the country. They just need that opportunity, which is given by this particular show, Sinistrasi Coach. Thank you. It's a pleasure being part of this work. Without further ado, we start with an open forum of question and answers. So please feel free to raise your hands. We'll get the mic to you. Uh, let's start right away. Ranjini. Yes, please hand, hand the mic. At the back. Right. Guys, this is going to be a session of 15 minutes flat, after which we're going to have group discussions for a short while after that, right? So keep the questions to, to the show, please. Hello. Yeah, I have a question for Aishma. Like this is Dharini from Telichaka.com. Hi. Hi. Today again? Uh, this is Dharini from Telichaka.com. I have a question for you. Uh, you said that you got rejected in the year 2003 in Zine Stas Z Coach. So what was the re reason behind it? I have no idea. I think this is this is the age of unconventionals. And I'm quite unconventional, I think. But that time, when I was a teen, I was 19 that time, I think, 2004. Uh, I was this unconventional guy out of these 10 people, as I mentioned, that I was not a 6 feet tall conventional hero that time. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was hardly given a chance to speak because I just looked odd in the company of 10 tall, odd looking guys from Chandigarh. Okay. Maybe you didn't have a great judge yet. Yeah. yeah. So did you ever you thought... You weren't there, sir. I'll be there, Mark. <laughs> so did you ever thought that one day you would mentor all the contestants? Not at all. I don't expect much from life, but this is quite surreal for me. Coming to the same show, as a mentor or as a friend, as a guide, where I was rejected in the regional round. Thank you. The next question. Hello. 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 Sorry for the music. Good evening, sirs. Uh, about two things I wanted to know. One, is it called, this called a reality show? And if it's reality, what reality? Can you repeat that, show, please? This yeah. show, this particular aspect, is called a reality show? It is a non-fiction reality show, yes. What's the question? Uh, that's it. I mean, uh, reality is based on what? And normally, reality shows are reality shows or they are directed. And they are Who is this question addressed to? Uh, it's a general question. Yeah, so I'll just take that very quickly. Reality show is actually a, uh, a term that's been coined by the media, not by the makers. Uh, the makers always call these shows as non-fiction shows. They are actually talent hunts. So we don't call them reality shows. Reality show is a loose term that has been coined by the media and maybe it's, gone, it's percolated down to the audience. Uh, but in a sense, uh, it works because the shows represent reality. None of this is engineered. Uh, none of this is scripted or directed. So these are unscripted shows, if one can define that further. Uh, thank you, sir. That is what thank I you. expected. And I think it is part reality and part, of course, is unscripted. Uh, the next is, okay, what would happen after the final selection? How far, where, and what will this winners do? Yeah, so we have a... Uh, 
Yeah, so typically the winners of cine stars uh, are supported by Z uh, in their endeavor to becoming movie stars uh, or at least getting an exposure to the film industry. Uh, we do have plans uh, regarding film projects for the winners, but those plans will be announced a few weeks from now. Uh, hi, uh, Sudeshna from the Telegraph, Canada. Uh, my question is to uh, the, the Z team here. Uh, I remember one ed edition of Cine Stars at least. Uh, uh, can there be some parity? Did you have one season before this, or was you had there two more seasons? Season? Uh, 2004 and 2006. Okay. Okay. Two seasons. The next question. Hello, the guy in red. Hello, Mr. Good evening, uh, my name is Kumar Sahu, Raipur, Chhattisgarh, Sutna, Bharat Pradesh. Sir, I have a question. Tha, ki season 1, jo, iska jo first season of Cine Star, he had Sarva Raoja and uh, Aditi Sharma. If you look at their career, if you look at their career, then Aditi Sharma is also a character role. After that, uh, Sarva Raoja, jo hai, वो धारावाहिक में एक दो एपिसोड में आने के बाद वो भी मतलब घूम सा हो गए तो अभी सीजन टू में किस प्रकार से मतलब आगे और कितना परफॉर्मेंस दे पाएंगे और सीजन टू कहाँ तक प्रतिभागियों के लिए बेस्ट होगा लाइट 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 कम किया देखिए पिछले सीजन में क्या हुआ उसकी उसके बारे में ये सब मेरे लिए भी उतनी जिस शो की बातें कर रहे हैं, उम्मीद ये है कि जैसा उन्होंने कहा कि कुछ एक अनाउंसमेंट होगी। मुझे लगता है कि हम हमेशा कहते हैं कि देश में टैलेंट बहुत है, और शायद वो हम तक पहुंचता देर में है या उसका उसको जरिया नहीं मिलता। तो उम्मीद ये है कि इस शो की वजह से कुछ ऐसी चीजें हैं जिससे � Oh, Mike, let me take a look at the mic. Thank you. Yeah, Namit, you're in front of me. Left, towards left. Here? Yeah. Namit, what is the real motive of this show? What is the real motive of this show? What is the real motive of this show? And after that, the question is to Vijay Krishna. Vichar, what is it? Vichar, what do you think about the talent of this show? What do you think about the talent of this show? What do you think about the talent of this show? उतना कंज्यूम करने की कैपेसिटी है इंडस्ट्री में या फिर डिमांड एंड सप्लाई का मतलब एकदम उसकी खाई बहुत ज्यादा कह रही है आपका इस समस्या को या सवाल को पुट अप करने का तरीका बहुत अच्छा है मैं मैं ये मानता हूँ कि देखिए इस किस्म का टैलेंट ये डिफाइनेबल टैलेंट नहीं कोई गाना गाता है तो आप बोल सकते हैं यार ये अच्छा गाना गाता है ये अच्छा गाना गाना नहीं गाता एक्टिंग एक ऐसी चीज है ये रिएक्शन पे डिपेंडेंट ये आपके अपने जाती एक्सपीरियंसेस पे डिपेंडेंट तो मुझे लगता है कि टैलेंट की तो हमेशा कमी हो टैलेंट हमेशा आदमी ढूंढ रहा है कि अरे कोई अच्छा एक्टर मिले कोई अच्छा कैरेक्टर मिले आप जिस तरह की हम नई फिल्में देख रहे हैं मुझे लगता है कि टैलेंट अच्छा होगा तो उसको खपने पर तकलीफ नहीं आएगी कितना वक्त लगेगा वो कितनी आ, क्योंकि ये मैथ इसकी एक गणित बनाना मुश्किल होगा मुझे लगता है कि इस तरह की चीजें जब तक ये एक्सपेरिमेंट थोड़ा सा सफल ना हो और दुनिया के सामने एक अच्छे रूप में ना आए तब तक हम इस सवाल का कोई कॉन्क्रीट जवाब देना आज मुश्किल है लेकिन मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि कोई भी आदमी जिसके पास टैलेंट है और जो ऐसे प्लेटफॉर्म पर आएगा उम्मीद है कि हम उसको पहचान पाएंगे और उम्मीद यह है कि उसको फिल्मों में टेलीविजन में कहीं ना कहीं एक स्टार जो आप ढूंढ रहे हैं आप स्टार एक्टर भी होता है और स्टार्स वो भी होते हैं जिनको देखने के लिए आप पहले दिन टिकट खरीद के फिल्मों में जाते हैं तो आई थिंक वी शुड ट्राई एंड फाइंड अ गुड टैलेंट पूल ऑफ एक्टर्स एंड होपफुली दे विल फाइंड द प्लेस और अगर मैं हाइपोथेटिकली पूछूं कि मतलब धूम थ्री में जो किरदार अमर ने निभाया था उसमें एक अनकन्वेंशनल लुक का बिना सेक्स पैक बॉडी का कोई बंदा Ever, maybe in future, who will fit back in up, who will be convincing to like it up, as an actor, if you can say. I think Doom will always, from this point on, Doom will always require an actor of a certain standing. I think even 
even in Dhoom 2, I think Ritik, Abhishek, I think they are very, very fine actors. But when we talk about this kind of film, the conventional and unconventional I think are things which also change with time. Hopefully by the time the next Dhoom comes, maybe it will be very unconventional. And yours, Namit, yeah. What is the motive of this show? To what is the motive of this show? To ask an unconventional look at the people who want to take the look at the people. The motive is that talent is out there. And hopefully they will be able to get out there. The motive is that talent is not a shape or shape. Talent comes in many shapes and sizes. Like Vita just said that what is conventional, what is unconventional can change every day. You know, so 10 years ago, what was not acceptable to a talent show is loved and appreciated by the film industry today and the audience. Therefore, it's important to see the show from that point of view. Is that we are here to uh, appreciate and celebrate whatever type of acting talent is available in the country right now and shape it and help give it a certain future. That's the job of the show. Uh, I'm Jyoti Venkatesha. एक सवाल पढ़नी थी जैसे पूछना और एक नमित से पढ़नी से सवाल ये है पढ़नी थी यू कम अप द हार्ड वे एस यू सेड विदाउट बिलोंगिंग टू बॉलीवुड यू बिलोंग टू बॉलीवुड नाउ वुड यू एडवर्टी न्यूकमर जो जो आते हैं इस शो में फॉर द टेस्ट टू गो थ्रू ए क्रैश कोर्स इन पीआर आल्सो सिंस यू आर प um, <clears throat> nay, I would not advise them that. In fact, uh, uh, now, when I give you to me, I feel like, what I was doing banking and finance for so many years, I should have to study films. But I also say that there is no rule of actors to become an actor. You can become a DJ and you can become an actor. You can become a singer and you can become a banker. So I don't think there is a rule book. और मैं तो ये एपिसोड शूट कर चुकी हूँ और मैंने देखा कि कैसे कैसे सेक्टर से लोग आ रहे थे ऑडिशन करने एंड उनसे कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता कोई स्कूटर मैकेनिक था कोई स्टूडेंट था कोई हाउसवाइफ थी जिनका अभी बच्चा हुआ है एक तो आपने देखा रोबोटिक प्रोफेसर थे ये सब लोग इतने तरह के सेक्टर से आए कि उनकी एक्टिंग में कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा तो मैं तो उनको यही कहूँगी पीआर पीआर सब छोड़ो ऑडिशन करना शुरू करो कभी तो चांस लग ही जाएगा। नमित कंग्रेट्यूएशन फॉर दिस न्यू रिएक्टिव इट्स नॉट न्यू बिकॉज़ ऑलरेडी दो शो हो चुके हैं। यस एंड इन फैक्ट फॉर द ऑडियंस आई वुड लाइक टू इनफॉर्म दैट उस टाइम सर्वर Emerged from this show, Amrita Kanwilkar. Yes. Who are talking Marathi actors? Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, from the entire batch of 2004, uh, all the top 10 from 2004 have been absorbed in television, regional films and modeling. Because at that time, uh, Bollywood they had not opened its doors to, un to you know, newer faces with the way it is doing today. So there was a very good talent pool available. They were grouped well. And a lot of the leading television actors, models and regional film stars have actually come from the 2004 pool of uh, Sinistra's key coach. And in spite of that, why this was not continued year after year? So that's a question that I cannot answer because uh, uh, that's a question that my predecessors have to answer. But uh, I can just tell you that we are doing, we are here now, we are doing this and let's be happy about it. Achha, also, are you planning to simulcast this uh, in different language channels because he has a bouquet of channels? Because so currently it's only being broadcast in Hebrew. Or Eventually you will turn to other languages because there are cinema in other languages also. Yeah, why not? I mean, but time will tell whether we do that or not. So.